Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be going over if this year's NCAA football had a 12-team playoff and my predictions because I really want to show you guys what I think would happen because I feel like a lot of you guys would think that it is a very interesting prediction. So if you guys like the video, please hit the like button. If um, you want to see more content from me, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release a new video, if you subscribe, then hit the notification bell. Without ado, let's get into the video. So the NCAA next year is introducing a 12-team playoff bracket, but this would have been helpful this year since we had a undefeated team, Florida State, miss out on the playoffs this year. Uh, a 12-team playoff would really help NCAA because it either should have been six or two instead of having four, but that's all right since we're going to 12 now. So first, I want to go over the matchups real quick before I uh, give you my predictions. So I got number eight, Oregon, and number nine, Missouri. Number five, Florida State, and number 12, Liberty. Number 10, Penn State, and number seven, Ohio State. Number six, Georgia, and number 11, Ole Miss. And then the top four teams get the bye, being number one, Michigan, number two, Washington, number three, Texas, and number four, Alabama. Okay, so first matchup is number eight, Oregon versus number nine, Missouri. So first off, Oregon is one and two against top 25 teams. They won against number 21 ranked Oregon State, but they lost to number two ranked Washington twice, both being by three points. And Missouri has not really had that great of a time. They did beat number 25 Tennessee, but they did lose to other teams that I just don't know like why they are even decided. They lost to number 13 LSU 49 to 39. And against Georgia, they only lost by nine points. But Oregon has come closer to better teams, so I'm gonna have to give this one to Oregon. Okay, so our next matchup is number seven Ohio State versus number 10 Penn State. Guys, this is really easy. Ohio State already beat Penn State. It's gonna happen again, guys. Penn State can't do much against Ohio State, so we're gonna go ahead and give it to Ohio State. I don't even need to go into that one that much. It is very obvious. Okay, our next matchup is number six Georgia versus number 11 Ole Miss. Georgia beat Ole Miss 52 to 17 earlier this year, and I think it's gonna pretty much be a blowout again. I'm going Georgia. This one doesn't need much explaining. Most of these first round games do not mean much explaining, but I shouldn't really have to say much after saying that Georgia just demolished Mississippi earlier, 52 to 17. So Georgia is going to the next round. Okay, next up, we've got number five Florida State versus number 12 Liberty. Liberty does not have a win at least a good win against a like really power five school at all but i mean this week they, in real life they are going to play liberty in oregon on uh january 1st on monday at 1 p.m so if liberty wins against oregon in real life that would be incredible but i don't see that happening and florida state should be in the college football playoff and this one's so easy guys i'm going florida state over liberty it doesn't matter who they have a quarterback, they're beating Liberty. They beat Louisville with their third stringer. They could probably beat Liberty with their like wide receiver. So Florida State going to the next round. Okay, so our next matchup, we'll go right back to Florida State. Number five, Florida State will be at Alabama at a bowl. So like a neutral location. And um, see, Florida State, when I was Warren Travis in this game, they'd be on their uh, QB2. And he's actually transferring in real life as of today, it seems like, which is Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas, everyone. But I will be releasing this tomorrow, so you guys probably won't care at that point. But um, Alabama is the better team right now, unless Florida State is Warren Travis. And that is, you know, hard for Florida State, because they should be in over Alabama. But they're not, because their quarterback's injured, and that's unfortunate. But I'm still going to have to give this to Alabama. I think Alabama would beat them. Unless if Florida State had Jordan Travis, it would be a uh, whole different game. But Alabama's going to the semi. Okay, so next up, we've got number three, Texas, and number six, Georgia. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think Georgia's going to win this. Now you want to know why? So number one, Texas did lose Oklahoma. Now that's, you know, that may not matter right now. But I think that, you know, just tells what kind of team Texas is right now. They did beat Alabama earlier. But first off, I don't think their offense is that great when going up against a good defense like Georgia. I think Georgia's defense would just shut them down. And even though Georgia does have good offense, I think they could score some points and secure that win. 
so Georgia is going to the semis. Okay, so next up we got number two Washington versus number seven Ohio State, and this is just obvious to me. In my, I mean, like for some people, you would think Ohio State, but now Washington. Washington's offense is really good. I think they're just gonna absolutely demolish Ohio State. And I don't think Ohio State's defense is that great, and their offense isn't that great either. Um, I just feel like Washington's offense with Michael Penix, he's just going to be dotting them up. So we're going to give it to Washington, and they go to the semis. And the last quarter final game, number eight, Oregon versus number one, Michigan. Guys, Michigan has struggled against Maryland and Iowa. Iowa, okay? Now, they didn't allow any points against Iowa, but I feel like Michigan should have blown them out, okay? I don't care about Iowa, how good their defense supposedly is. If you're Michigan, you're supposed to be blowing out these teams, and you almost lose to Maryland with, like, almost, like, no offense half of the time. I don't know why they're number one, so probably only because they beat Ohio State and Penn State. I'm guessing, all right? And Oregon, they have literally been so close to being Washington all the time. I gotta give Oregon the win here, okay? I can't say that Michigan would beat Oregon. Bonex, which is dot him up. And J.J. McCarthy's overrated, so... Oregon is going to the semis. So for the semifinals in my 12 team college football playoff, we've got number eight Oregon, and number four Alabama, and number two Washington, and number six Georgia. So first we're gonna start back with Oregon versus uh, Alabama. And I think Oregon's gonna win this. And if we're like, wait, Alabama beat Georgia, I think, you know, you guys would say, you would probably think that Alabama should beat Oregon. But guys, Washington, in my opinion, is a really good team okay now do i think they're better than oregon yes do i think they're both better than alabama yes but um oregon is definitely better than alabama they have proven that they're better than alabama they've blown up 12 opponents and have come close being washington but just falls short okay and i really do not like oregon i hate oregon but i think they're a really good team and i hate alabama as well and I think it got lucky against Georgia, guys. I think Georgia just didn't play well that day. Their offense, you know, their offense is not that good, okay? So there you have to rely on their defense. And their defense most of the time is really good, but sometimes, like against Alabama, they just don't play as well. And that's what happens to Georgia. But I think Oregon's going to win, so they will go to my finals. And the last semifinal matchup, number two, Washington versus number eight, Georgia. Guys, this is when Michael Penix meets greatest defense of this year in Georgia. This is when Washington doesn't even score 20 points, and Georgia scores barely enough, like let's say like 21 points, because we know their offense is not that good, and Washington has like, some decent defense in my opinion. And this is when Penix has a really bad game against this great defense. And this is when Georgia wins and goes to the finals. And now you might be like, why? Their defense, dude. Their defense is really good. It's not as good as last year, but, I mean, it's still dominating. They just dominate their opponents most of the time, except Alabama, but that's when their offense doesn't do much, and their defense just doesn't perform well for the first time in a while. So Georgia is in the finals. And for my final in the 12-team college level playoff predictions, based off of my predictions, right, it is number eight Georgia versus number six Georgia. Guys, Washington could do anything against this defense. Oregon doesn't either. I think they score one more touchdown. I think Bonex has an actual really good game, but they just don't get much on the running game, so they rely on him a lot. So he'll have about four touchdowns, one interception, and the running game will just get stuffed by Georgia. And the score will be 31 to 28 when Georgia, on the final play, gets a 60 yard field goal. 60 yard, I know. Kind of hypothetical. But Georgia would win, okay? And Georgia wins the national championship in the 12th Coastal Football bracket, personally for me, and they get to hoist the trophy and do a three-peat. And that is it for my bracket. You know, Georgia winning, a lot of you guys might disagree, but I think that's the best case. So if you guys liked this video, please hit the like. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, if you do subscribe and want to see more content, if you want to be no notified, do hit the notification bell. And let me know in the comments who you would have winning this 12-team college football playoff if it happened this year.
who would you have winning it? And I will see you guys next time.